It's another beautiful sunny and bright day and I love sunshine days, right? I know you love sunshine days too. <laughs> and that means a lot of energy is going to be generated via your solar panels into your homes to power all your energy needs and that's a beautiful thing. And that's of course more money back into the pockets of those who are selling this same energy back into the grid. And for those who are using it for very productive purposes, it's a beautiful day today for you, all right, because lots of sun is coming. All right, so we're doing a lot of test situation. We're trying to test these two solar panels before you. One is broken and one is fully functional. So we're trying to test both to see what the energy difference in the both of them is going to be. So how exactly do you think a broken solar panel is going to do uh, when it is put head to head with a fully functional solar panel. So if you want to find out exactly what is going to happen when these tests are conducted, you definitely have to stick around because I will be right back. you welcome back everybody my name is Ikenna from smiling sun everything solar installation everything a vata installation everything going green how you guys doing today hey if you haven't subscribed come on now what are you waiting for <laughs> we would love you to be part of this energy community all right from today henceforth nobody's ever going to tell you about what's going on in and out the world of solar technology and of course the more you subscribe the more we can reach out to more people who also need this information all right so kindly subscribe all right and do not forget to comment don't forget to share and do not forget to like all right so from the last time we did the video on the broken solar panel we got lots of comments on the platform and <sighs> yes that's what a broken solar panel looks like. What exactly are we supposed to do with a broken solar panel? Are we still supposed to use it? Is this still functional? Can it produce some kind of energy? Can we still put it in our entire solar system configuration? Or should we just throw it away, trash it basically and get a brand new one? So when you have a broken solar panel, are you still supposed to connect it back with the rest of the fleet of the solar panel or you just throw it away? So would and lots of people were saying that you can still manage to, you know, squeeze it in, use the broken solar panel. The difference there is really not that much, just a fraction of like some percentages of the production line of the broken solar panel. You can afford to put it in there. All right, so we got lots of that comment. So we wanted to put it to a practical test so that all of us will see if it's really a very wise thing for you to put these two solar panels together when one is broken and damaged and the other one is fully functional. So we all see for ourselves if it's a good thing for you to put a broken solar panel uh, into your strings of solar panel, bearing in mind that the, the solar panels are designed to equalize with the lowest output detected. All right, so it might do a lot of damage to the strings of solar panels or your entire configurations that you have. So we wanted to put that to a practical test. What exactly is going to be the difference when you test a broken solar panel as against a fully functional solar panel? So that's essentially what we're going to do today. OK, so that's why we got these two solar panels for you together for you to see a practical demonstration then you will make up your mind if it's a good thing to throw it away or still keep it in the fleet of solar panels that you have. So to be able to do this test, we have made available two DC watt meters. One is connected to this solar panel and another one is connected to this solar panel. Why it's very important for you to use two DC meters is that it's important that you get the readings real time. So you can see what the both of them are generating at the same time. It's really very important. So we have two DC watt meters. One is connected to the broken solar panel. The other one is connected to the functional solar panel. So it will be able to see exactly what we're generating. All right. So if you're ready to find out, let's find out exactly right now what is coming in from the both solar panels because we're going to be reading them real time so that we see how the real time energy is going to be. So let's check them now.
significant difference from the two solar panels so the energy level from the broken solar panel is really low as compared to the fully functional solar panel so it's very important that we had to do this test to be able to convince you that it's really not a good thing for you to do for you to still insist that you want to put in uh, a broken solar panel and some people also said okay if the solar panel is cracked you could find a way to seal the solar panel or just use it that way if the cells are not protected now looking at potential induced degradation if you have a broken solar panel and is exposed even if it's working at that particular point in time after a while when it's exposed to weather when you have a lot of dust particles when you have a lot of rains falling on the solar panel it's definitely going to find its way through the cracks glass of the solar panel and seep into the solar panels don't forget that the glass function is to protect the cells of the solar panel all right so once the glass is cracked is exposed to weather rains can seep in a lot of things can happen thereby triggering a potential induced degradation that will eventually kill the solar panel so it's really not that very ideal so once the solar panel is broken the best thing you can do for yourself and for the entire uh, configurations and the connections that you have to not do a disservice to the output of the solar panel is to do away with the broken solar panel all right everybody that's the very much we can take today all right so if you haven't subscribed now will be a good time for you to subscribe okay we would appreciate you to be part of this energy community and of course the more you subscribe the more we can reach out to more people who desperately need this information <laughs> all right thank you guys so very much don't forget to comment don't forget to share and do not forget to like see you guys in the next video